Yeah. So I've got a stack of uh, cards with different objects, items, and things on. For example, this says car, as you can see, and then it gives you an instruction on how to best imagine a car. So it says, imagine the open road, the wind blowing in your face, the destination that you want to travel to. This one says beach, imagine laying on it, the sun, the sea, the breeze. This one says an apple, imagine holding it and taking a bite out of it. This one says cards, and it says imagine being at a poker table and playing a game of cards. This one though says think of anything you like. And what that means is in a moment when I ask you to pick one, if you get one of these cards, you can literally think of anything in the world. And there are quite a lot of these, look, you can see, think of anything you like, anything you like, anything you like anything you like. There's a hell of a lot of these in there. In fact, I'd go as far as saying that the amount of these cards outweighs the amount of different objects and items. So for now, Mark, as far as you want, you can say stop. Stop. Do you want to change that? Yeah, go back a bit. How far? I don't know, to there. That's fine by me. Take the card you've stopped at. So do you want that one? Do you want to change it again? I'm going to go... No, it's up to you. Make it as random as yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. Have a look at it. Look at the instructions, think about how you're gonna approach focusing on this specific thing. And then when you're done, just drop it inside there, wherever you want, and then we're done. Are you happy? Yeah. Good. Now, obviously there's no way that me and Dwayne could know what that is. So just concentrate on what this thing is first. Did you go for a card that said, think of anything you like? Yeah. So this makes this infinitely more difficult then. Um, Are you an Aries? Yes. Yeah, okay. And I'm just trying to get in tune with the way you think to try to pick up on what this is. Now, obviously the cards are irrelevant because you went for anything that you like. You're an Aries, which means you're uh, very uh, movement focused as opposed to thinking that you're a doer. You're somebody who has in the past rushed into things. So what sort of thing do I think you'd go for? Do you pin code start with a six? Yes. Yeah, all right. Uh, in fact, Dwayne, you think of any category in the world and ask Mark to think of something from that category. Um, okay. Plant. A plant? Go for a chrysanthemum? Yes. <laughs> uh, Fuck up. Yeah, uh, wait a second. So Mark, you could have gone for anything that you liked. Right, stop there, stop, 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 stop. I think, I think I've got what this is. Um, I'm just gonna go for this, uh, I think, and it's like this, this. Um, I think it's this, I'm gonna show everybody else what I think this is. For the first time, Mark, tell us exactly what it is that you cooked up in your own mind. A UFO? Yeah. And uh, Great. I think that's perfect. But yeah, there we go. It's cool. Good. It's very clever. It's great. Did you do that? It's great, isn't it? There we are. And, uh, that's the almost perfect drawing duplication. That's my absolute favorite throughout the entire lot of books and I hope you love it as much as I do. Did you actually go for your thing? That's not exactly what I was thinking of yet. <laughs> <laughs>